We're learning more about a young father of three who was killed last night in a hit and run crash on the west side. We're told the vehicle that hit him was found in a neighborhood two miles away. Troopers have now seized that vehicle. Channel 4's Ashley Mitchum is joining us live from the west side where that father was killed. She spoke to his parents today. Ashley? Kent, I'm here at the intersection of Beaver Street and Celery Avenue where you can see flowers have been placed here where Bradley Kirk was hit and killed last night. Those flowers left here on the side of the road where he was left for dead. He was yards from his home. His parents just devastated, but are hopeful the person who did this will be caught soon. That's just a monster. That is true monster. You are a true monster. You took my son away that has three children. The youngest one is one years old. He was a great father and you took him away. Shame on you. Brad is Robert and Sophia Kirk's oldest son. They're angry and hurt that someone would leave the 29 year old father of three to die without stopping to help or call police. How could you do that? You know, that's a human being. So would you like that to be done to your family? You got to think about things like that. The worst thing a parent could get is a call at them at night. 10 o'clock at night saying that your son just got hit by a car and the people left the scene. Troopers say Brad was walking east on the shoulder of Beaver Street near White House Baptist Church when he was hit and killed by a blue Chevy Equinox. We were sent this photo from a man who lives in Paradise Village, just two miles from the crash. He says that car was picked up by FHP at the next door neighbor's house. Investigators are now looking for the person behind the wheel. We spoke to our crime and safety analyst Gil Smith about what happened. He said by no means was this Brad's fault, but a reminder to those of you who are walking along roads, especially where there's not a sidewalk, make sure that you're walking in the direction against traffic so you can always see the traffic coming toward you in case there's an instance where the driver does leave the roadway, you can get out of the way and save your own life. I'm live in the West Side, Ashley Mitchum, Channel 4, The Local Station.